Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys briefly about a couple of things. Uh, number one, I have decided to stop playing hardcore this league and I have decided to move myself over to solo self-found softcore where I have created my first character. Uh, if you'd like to know why, I'm just going to go ahead and post the command from my stream in the description so you guys can go ahead and check that out. Um, but anyway, enough of that. I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about this character and what my goals are with this character. Um, so I'm kind of going back to my roots on this guy. I had fun with the whole physical hype train and stuff, but I really wanted to play a caster. More or less, I wanted to play a trap slash mind build because it's been so long since I've like actually fundamentally played one. Um, so I decided to try out fireball mines. Now, the reason why I decided to play fireball mines is simply because Fireball was buffed a few leagues ago, and it's actually pretty strong. Um, there's a bunch of different ways you can play it. You can play it with Pierce, you can play it with Fork, you can play it with Chain. Uh, I have decided that we are currently playing it with Fork. Um, the main reason why I'm playing it with Fork is if you're aware of Hydra, one of the uh, four Guardians, uh, Hydra actually drops a ring. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull it up so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. I think it's called Snake Pit. Yeah, it's called Snake Pit. One sec. There we go. So uh, Snake Pit, as you can see right here, is a ring that's going to give us up to 40% spell damage. And basically in left ring, uh, left ring slot, we're going to get Fork, which means we can essentially do this without even having to use a, um, a Link eventually. So that's going to be like an immense damage increase. That's more of like a late game upgrade. You know, we're SSF, so we're going to have to work towards it. Uh, but anyway, we're using Fireball at the moment with... Minefield Fork GMP. Now, the reason why I'm using a Tremor Rod is number one, I asked for it to drop, and SSF actually gave it to me. Um, there are a couple things I like with Tremor Rod, like the huge amount of my laying speed. I kind of like the mines can be detonated an additional time, but not 100% because it can be like, I, I don't know, it's kind of annoying because, like, when you're mapping, you shouldn't have to detonate multiple times, but nowadays there's so many mobs, that, like crabs, that die, come back to life, or I know there's a couple of other mobs that die, come back to life. So the another set, like, set of detonation is not really too bad. So I'm not really very high level. We're 75. Just kind of started mapping. Well, we're mapping a little bit earlier, but uh, I want to go ahead and show you guys a Tier 2 map. Now, again, this is SSF. It's my first character in the league. It's got a lot of improvement to go for. Um, currently, I'm not very tanky. I'm 4.1k life. I can go Eldritch Battery Mind Over Matter, but then I go Oom um in combat, so I decided I'm not going to go Eldritch Battery Mind Over Matter, and I'm actually going to try to get... Uh, let me see if I can pull it up as well. Malachi's Stimuli. Uh, Malachi's Stimuli is a helmet that's going to give us Blood Magic, and if we get lucky, um, the thing about Blood Magic is Blood Magic gets cancelled with Sabotor's Passive. Uh, which basically says pyromaniac 1% life regen per second for each one of your mines you've detonated recently so if we get like 6,000 health which is not that difficult with blood magic uh, that's very very easy to manage 100% not a problem um, and then of course there's a prophecy upgrade for it as well and the prophecy upgrade for the malachi's is really really nuts because it gives huge amount of cold fire and lightning dispels while no life is reserved the reason why I say that's huge is because Fireball has a 160% or 180% damage effectiveness on it, uh, which makes it super awesome. Uh, so with that being said, some other things really fast. I'm currently running Zealotry, Level 1 Precision, Dread Banner, and Discipline. This completely caps off my mana. Um, when I get my Uber Lab done, we'll have Blind Aura as well. I was thinking of running Sand Stance just for now because my guy is really squishy, which sucks, but it's okay. And then the last thing, I guess, is I'm also running Ice Spear as my single target with Ali Focus, Remote Mine, Ice Spear, Trap, and Mine. I really like Ice Spear. The problem with it is sometimes I can't get it to go into the second stage, and if I can't get it to go into the second stage, I don't receive the bonuses. So I'm actually going to be leveling up a Flame Surge to show you guys in another video. We also do not have the Rolling Flames Jewel yet. The Rolling Flames Jewel should make this significantly better for mapping due to all of the extra explosion area effect overlap that we would get.
Oh my. Oh my god, these Vol guys are not happy right now. Okay. We're gonna have to do this, that's our first trial. Nice. Uh, I also do need to get a Basalt Flask going. Basalt Flask is gonna be super important for us, we do not have one running at the moment. That is not an exalted orb. Thirty percent movement speed. Actually, I may keep this. Oh, I do have to say, I apologize if the video lagged a bit at the beginning. I definitely doubted how many particle effects would happen with Fireball Fork during Legions, so I am going to have to dub down the quality a little bit for the future videos with this build. I don't really lag in game, but I know I know for sure it's lagging the shit out of the game. So here's the other problem with Ice Spear. Or not the game, but uh, the recording. Here we go. So if I can get it like this, it's pretty... What the fuck? This guy is so tanky. There we go. The other problem with Ice Spear, like I was saying, is it has to like reach its its second stage to really get that bonus. Whereas Flame Surge gives like that huge multiplier to targets who are ignited, which is gonna be all the time from Fireball because I'm not using LA Focus. Um hello Red Beast, what are you doing in my map? Oh my. Is it dead? Okay, it's dead. Can't even pick up a thicket, man. Okay, so that's pretty much the character right now. Uh, things to focus on. I definitely need to get... Um, either replace my tremor rod with like a decent staff or even just dual wield weapons um, and or just get more crit damage scaling I definitely need to replace this Lahoop because we're not even like capped res right now I need a little bit of cold and a little bit of fire uh, I may try crafting like a Shaper Helm or an Elder I think Shaper maybe has the Immolate slash Combustion I, I don't remember exactly what but definitely want to try getting something done with that because the, the damage doesn't feel like super like, the damage feels good, the clearing feels nice with the fireball, but the single target feels a bit inconsistent. I think, again, that's because I'm trying to, like, use Ice Spear, and I don't think Ice Spear is bad. I just think I need more gear to get it working. That's why I really want to try Flame Surge. Um, definitely get a 5-link for our single target. That would be huge. And then I think being able to actually run on, uh, like, getting the Malachi Simuli would be a really nice buff, too, because then we don't have to run Discipline. Well, actually, it doesn't matter anyway, because if we get Malachi Simuli... Uh, we would lose Dread Banner, Discipline, and Precision, but we'd still run Zealotry, so... I don't know, there's definitely room to improve this character. 
uh, like a lot of room to improve the character, so it's pretty cool so far. I'm pretty happy with it. It tackles legions really well. The only, well, it dies to legions really well as well, but it can open the legions very easily. Um, the only thing is, I definitely would say, uh, so if you look at my skill tree right now, what I plan on doing is pretty much like cutting off Eldritch Battery, getting my Flask Effect. This is really important. Flask Effect with a Basalt Flask will make us like quite a bit more tanky. Um, but basically grabbing Alchemist, dropping Eldritch Battery, and then moving down and grabbing Acrobatics, Phase Acrobatics, and like Herbalism is pretty much the end of our build. We do get five jewels in this build, uh, and there's multiple ways to play it, which is really interesting. So you can play like... You can play with Eldritch Battery, which is how I'm playing right now, right? But you can see we use our mana, or I'll use our our energy shield to cast. You can opt out and go Eldritch Battery Mind Over Matter, which means that uh, you use this as a defensive resource. For Hardcore, this is totally what I recommend. The only reason why I do not like it is because if you have any type of damage over time on you, like a bleed or whatever, and you like, like for example, I don't have like proper flash at the moment, your regen will not start, whereas if you take damage with just Eldritch Battery and not Mind Over Matter, it, it still continues. So this makes it so you really have to work on your energy recharge. And even having like 1.5k ES with Essence Surge and a Ball Discipline, I found myself going Oom um a lot, and when I would go Oom, um, I would die because I couldn't do anything. Like, and it wouldn't regen, I had to wait for the recharge to start. So that's when I found myself, I think the ultimate, like the best scenario is to go Blood Magic, and I can go Blood Magic by just, you know, going straight to Blood Magic here. But that's going to end up making me respect later, probably, when I get a Malachi Simuli. So I decided to opt out on this. Uh, and I can still get, like, 180 life with 5 jewels not going down here for uh, life. Because I've got, like, uh, Life Node here. I've got Life Node. And then that's, I guess that's pretty much it for now with the Life Nodes here. Uh, but then moving down here, I've got, like, the Life Cluster down here. And then we've got all the jewels to fill in. I also would rather do that than stack energy shields, so that's something kind of cool. Uh, to, go, to go over some of the stuff we found on the character so far for SSF, I ended up finding some really interesting things. Uh, I found a Lionized Fall. So I may end up playing that Doomfletch Prison, uh, well, a Doomfletch Prison Berserker. I know I told you guys I was going to play a Berserker. Um, this would be pretty much build enabling. I'm not going to run another character, though, until I probably do Guardians and Shaper, though. Uh, I really want to kind of push towards closer to end, like, well, I want to start doing endgame again. It's part of the reason why the reroll for softcore as well. Uh, I really want to craft, like, a sick weapon or a sick chess piece, get to guardians, destroy them, so that's going to be fun. And I ended up getting this body armor, which is kind of what makes me really want to go blood magic as well, because I, I don't know how I can make use of the colors on it yet, but it's, I mean, 114 life with a 9% max life roll with... 40 fire res, 37 lightning, 2% physical damage reduction, which is like still pretty good. And it's got prefix open for the hybrid uh, life and mana craft. So then there's also the option of going mind over matter, but I don't think I'm going to go mom just because of an 8% mom node. Um, so that's, that's something. Anyway, that's pretty much about it though. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you want to level up this character, leveling up wasn't too bad. I did level up with fireball mines. Um, the only thing I would tell you is if you're going to level up with the build, I probably recommend rushing Eldritch Battery uh, and Instant Detonate because Eldritch Battery is going to carry your ass with mana at the beginning of the game, which you will not have. Um, so that's really something to take into account. And then consider grabbing Essence Surge as well because it'll just give you so much recharge. Do not go Wicked Ward because the less energy shield recharge rate <laughs> with the less energy shield recharge rate is going to fuck you over so i would not try stacking those two um but yeah anyway that's pretty much about it so i hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys enjoyed yourselves i hope to be putting out some more content for you um and also i'll be putting out some content on an mmo called estelia this is not a sponsored thing uh, it's just a new mmo that's kind of coming out I don't really know exactly how good it's going to be towards the end game, but so far it looks kind of promising, especially for like, uh, you know, like a port over. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So anyway, take care. Have a wonderful time. I'll see you guys all tomorrow.